So guys, just arrived at Talca Park here for the opening night of the new season. St. Patrick's Athletic travel to Shelburne, obviously to take on Damien Duff's Shelburne. Uh, getting excited now, freezing cold all day and well wrapped up, I can tell you that. But actually, it doesn't look too bad at this minute in time. So really looking forward to this. What a match we have to open it up. Shelburne and Pats, big, big rivals, old rivals. Um, Shelburne obviously new to the division. Pats with a new manager. Um, obviously, Shelburne with a new manager as well. A lot of new players on both sets of teams. It's going to be interesting to see how both set up, particularly Shelburne have an idea how Pats will set up. But Shelburne are going to be very interesting to watch in, in that way as well. So there's going to be an absolutely brilliant atmosphere at Talca Park tonight. Um, you know, especially with the news that Shelburne uh, are, look like they're going to be trying to buy Talca Park from the the Dublin City Council. So that's great news for them. As for Pats, David Odomusu was actually signed uh, hours ago officially so he's actually straight in the match day squad it's possible he could even start tonight who knows but I'm looking forward to this match it's going to be fiery it's going to be electric it's going to be atmospheric it's going to be cold at that uh, at that Ballybock end but um, really looking forward to this vlog guys and I'll see you in there
Just back from Talca Park, finished Shelburne Nil, St. Patrick's at Lelic Tree, and uh, it turned out to be a bit of a, a rude awakening. A welcome to the league for Damien Duff, didn't it? To be fair, um, how do you dissect it? Shelburne scored obviously in the first couple of minutes, actually, but um, obviously the goal was offside, it was really very offside, it was offside to be fair. But uh, I think in the first 15 minutes, Shelburne started fairly well, to be honest. Um, Pats are very sloppy. Uh, but once they rode that through, I think uh, passes obviously settled into the game. The goal from Dara Burns was just a wonder goal from outside the box, left foot, no keeper saving that unbelievable strike. And after that, I think um, Pass looked fairly comfortable, to be honest with you, um, in the game. And, you know, went in at half time, won a little second half. Uh, Mark Doyle scores after a couple of half chances for Shells to make it two. Um, and then Shell started to play a little bit and created some chances. I think Moylan drove one just over. Um, might be Moylan. It's hard to see exactly from where we were. And Denang made a superb save for Pats as well. Um, all in all, though, I think Pats um, put in a really, really good performance in this game. Fully deserved to win it. Um, we're much better to the side. Jay McClelland obviously grabbing the third as well. And uh, as I said, it's a difficult start for Shelburne. For Shelburne, I think Connor Kane... Was their best player in the night, to be fair. Certainly going forward, he was excellent. Um, for Pats, I think Burns played really well. Forrester really came into his own as well when um, when Pats got settled into the game. And just all around, it was a good team performance by Pats. Shells will be disappointed with that opening defeat and with the overall performance. I thought, to be honest with you, in general, they sat back for much of the game and... Um, and they tried to play a game where they let Pats off the ball and hopefully nick the ball off them and hit them in the counter and stuff. But, um, you know, Pats played on the front foot. It was interesting because I did see an interview uh, with Duff during the week and he was saying that they're going to try and play on the front foot. But um, to be honest, they didn't play in the front foot at all tonight. Um, you know, as I said, they played a bit more when they were 2 0 down, to be fair. But, uh, it's just interesting to see. It was very interesting to see how Shelburne was set up tonight and how um I had an idea how Clancy would with Pats, but it's very interesting to see how Duff um would set up tonight and how Shelburne would get on. Early in the season, um bad start for Shelburne, great start for Pats.
both teams will move on to next week, obviously. So uh, that's about it, guys. We'll obviously have the review show for the first division, the Premier Division, uh, coming up in the next couple of days as well. So keep an eye on that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification button. And like the video if you like the content. Let us know what you think of the game if you've seen the game. Be the shells, pats, neutral. Thanks, guys. See you later.